Hey guys, Fusion Science here, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make your pen tool automatically fill in the space selected with a texture with all the effects um, automatically added to it, like inner shadow and bevel and emboss and that type of thing. So um, I'm sure you've seen this used on uh, Sherbert Lemon's entry into Fluxilink's background competition and um, a lot of you were asking on that video how to do this effect plus I'm sure there's a lot of people who haven't seen that video who are interested in finding out this uh, technique so today I'll be showing you how to do this so I'm just going to go on to a uh, new canvas go to the pen tool and usually you have this option selected but uh, select the one to the left of that which makes it automatically fill in and uh, just um, just for the purpose of this video I'm going to make the foreground black so you can see what I'm doing uh, so then just make a new layer and start filling in just do any shape it doesn't matter because we'll be changing this later but just do any shape you want there and then um, go to uh, effects and put on a few effects uh, I'll show you what I like to do um, so I put on stroke and I have it on two then I you need to put on a pattern but it, it's optional whatever pattern you use I have loads here you can try out but um, I'm going to use this uh, where is it? I'm going to use this scratched metal. Um, then put on bevel and boss. Uh, put up the size. You can have it kind of short, or else you can put it really high. I like to put it really high, and uh, put up the depth really high. And uh, make sure the technique is on chisel hard. It's uh, usually on smooth, but change it to chisel hard. Then put on inner shadow, and just raise the inner shadow a bit. Now. Inner shadow is optional, depends what style you're going for again. If you're going for kind of a grunge metal like I am right now, then uh, inner shadow is a good thing to use. But it's not, uh, you don't necessarily have to have it, but I think it looks good. So then uh, put on drop shadow as well. Uh, you don't have to be specific with these measurements, just raise them until it looks right. Just click OK. Then what I want you to do is right click on the layer you've just created and rasterize layer. Then hold control and A and uh, press delete. And then select and deselect. So now you have to delete what you've just made. But as you can see here on the layer, all the effects are still chosen. So um, if you go ahead and just make any shape you want, uh, just as a demonstration here. As you can see, it automatically fills in. Uh, if you make a bend like this using the pen tool, this is just a quick tip. If you want to click again, but you don't want it to curve like that, um, you can just easily hold Alt on your keyboard and just click the little square, and then you can make a straight line. Uh, this is a really handy thing you might want to, if you ever wondered, for those people starting off. So then, as you can see, it automatically fills in. Uh, and it's not just one that you can make, you can make loads, like I can continue on with this now. And uh, hold out and back down. And like this is really handy for backgrounds. And as you can see, uh, whoops. as you can see, every uh, piece I make, it makes a new layer, which is really handy because if you want to move them around a bit, make that go under that one, I think that's handy. So then, uh, as you can see, it gives you a great, uh, it makes it a lot easier, basically. You don't have to keep making new patterns and keep adding the effects. You can always just do it this way. It's a lot faster. Uh, so, yeah, I uh, hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like if you were wondering how to do this, if you think it's a cool effect. And uh, please subscribe. Yeah, see you guys.